Hey y'all, I'm here at Walmart and I'm trying to see if they have the Pokemon Sword and Shield cards out because they come out tomorrow, but you know, I saw on Reddit that a few places had them early. So I'm gonna hope that they're in there. If they're not in there, then I just drove to Walmart for no good reason. So let's go find out. So they didn't have them and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's spitting the snow right now a little bit. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow. Check out all this snow. I mean, when you live in Tennessee, you gotta take what you can get. Let's see, Ozzy's running around in the snow. Susie, this is your first snow, isn't it? You've never seen snow before, have you? What do you think? <laughs> you don't know what to think. I'm about to go head back to Walmart. Try this again. Well, there's Ozzy using the bathroom. So I'm letting the car uh, thaw out for a little bit before I hit the road to Walmart. Uh, I was thinking, you know, it's been a while since I got into Pokemon cards. Roaring Skies was the last one that I was really into. That was that was a while ago. Uh, that one had Deoxys and Rayquaza, and there was, was like a Zapdos theme deck. Oh, I loved that one. And then uh, I didn't really get into any of the Sun and Moon ones, so I'm really excited about these Sword and Shield ones. I made it to Walmart, and man, it's been a good morning. I got to call my parents, uh, talk with them for a little bit. They're coming down to visit. Uh, the snow looks really beautiful. Like, it's not a lot, but it still looks really beautiful. Uh, and I heard a really good Aerosmith song I haven't heard in a while. It's called Kings and Queens. You should look that up. Uh, Katie's gonna go get the groceries, and I'll be getting the important things, the Pokemon cards. So let's go see if they've got those. They didn't have the cards at Walmart. My journey's finally come to an end. Finally. So this probably looks a little weird right now. Like I am driving. Uh, I have my phone set up on a dock right now. One of you know one of those little like hanging down things. Uh, that's the only reason I, I have a film of this right now. Don't text while you're driving, guys. It's not worth it. Any don't be on your phone while you're driving. It's not worth it. But I just figured since I'm making a vlog of this whole, you know, adventure around Jackson to get Pokemon cards, I figured uh, I'd talk about some other stuff that I really like uh, that I don't have the time to make a full video about. Uh, one of those things is I am a huge Tennessee fan, uh, the Tennessee Volunteers, uh, Go Big Orange. And see, the thing is, I didn't really care about sports till I was in college. I always liked them. I always did everything I filmed for the basketball team in high school, but I never played them because my mom was afraid I was going to get, you know, hurt, which I probably was going to. Uh, but I love, love Tennessee football now. And, you know, I was just thinking about this next year. We had a really good signing period uh, on the other day, on National Signing Day. I uh, got a really good uh, signee from Florida State. He was going to Florida State University and then swapped to UT. That was pretty sick. You know, I just kept, keep thinking about this next season. I think that we're going to have a really good season. You know, my hopeful thing is 9-3. and three. Uh, Our big four games are Oklahoma. Uh, yes, I just picked my nose. Uh, Oklahoma, Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Uh, and call me crazy, I think Alabama is the most winnable of those games. You know, we almost won this past season at Alabama, and, you know, that was a whole crazy thing. But I really think this could be the season. Now, I think we could beat Oklahoma, too. Uh, you know, they're losing Jalen. Uh, they don't have a lot of, you know, it's not like they're a bad team anymore. They're still one of the best teams. But I just, I don't know. I feel really good about going there. The only problem is it's at Oklahoma. Uh, but, you know, I said 9-3, and three, and I think we'll win two of those games. You know, on paper, we should beat Georgia. But I just I just don't see it yet. I think we're a better team, but we're just not. And that, that's just how it is. Uh, I think we're going to lose maybe to Kentucky or Missouri or South Carolina. One of those teams that we definitely should beat. Uh, it just, it's not going to happen. I don't, I don't really know why. Uh, and so, you know, I make all these Pokemon videos and, uh, I mean, you know, I'm going across Jackson to get Pokemon cards and it's just one of those things. Uh, don't, don't put yourself in one box. Go ahead and, you know, like other things as well. Uh, you know, one of those things. Uh, we're talking about Tennessee basketball real quick. Uh, John Fulkerson, one of my favorite uh, players, uh, just got a haircut, and he was growing his hair out. And uh, I was, you know, getting my hair a little longer. And now I just feel like, well, now it just looks weird, this grown man with long hair. Uh, so, you know, uh, I may, may keep growing my hair out. Who knows about that? 
Uh, I just don't have the time or the authority to make a whole video about, you know, sports. Uh, but I really, I really love them now. It's crazy. My dad is the hugest, I mean, he just loves sports of all kinds. Uh, and he is all about all different types of sports. He's coached everything. And growing up, I think he was just so into them that I was like, mm, no, I don't think I am. But now I love that I can bond with my dad over those things. Uh, and so, you know, those are just some thoughts I wanted to share with y'all while I was driving home. After just like two hours, you can already see the snow's gone. Like, it's just, it's gone. Looked real nice in town, though. Susie, Ozzy, what's the verdict? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, it's time to open these things up. So I got the Inteleon uh, uh, booster starter theme deck because uh, uh, Sobble Squad, uh, all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go through and open this one. Uh, I didn't, I didn't realize this when I when I purchased it. There's a little little gash right here on the box, and uh, I want, I'm gonna try to salvage this. You know, I, I like key, I like boxes. Boxes are cool. Uh, and I got the uh, Zacian. I think that's this one. Uh, see, I bought uh, Pokemon Sword. Uh, and so, or shield, and this is the one for sword. I think it's Zacian. I, I don't know. I'm not as up to speed as I should be. Uh, but the box is really cool. Uh, I think I've only opened up ever one or two of these, but I am so excited to get into these again. So let's look at the uh, Inteleon box. Uh, you can see good old hollow Inteleon in there. Uh, I was able to, I looked at the card list. I really like what it's got. So let's go ahead and uh, let's dive into this thing. So I'm having more trouble than I uh, <laughs> thought I would have. Well, that didn't do it. All that did was kind of split the uh, cardboard. Oh well, maybe I can kind of push this through. Oh, this is ugly now. Oh, this is so not pretty. There we go, okay, we're getting somewhere. Well, this side of the uh, box is, is done for. But the other side, if I just hold it over here, oh, and that's the one with the, man, mm, I just didn't think this thing through. All right, so uh, we're in here now. That's uh, that's all that's inside the box. Uh, so we got this, everything's in here. So, it comes with, oh, this is the, the play mat. Oh, it's got all three of them, uh, Rillaboom, Cinderace, and, uh, Inteleon on the back. That's a really cool poster. And then just a play mat. And of course, it's the Inteleon one. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. I like that. And uh, in case you've never uh, played the game, it's got this uh, nice little book uh, of just going over how to play it. Uh, I, I love playing the card game. Like, it's, it's a legit, really fun strategy game. And uh, here's all our damage counters. Here is... Looks like just a little you know, a quick thing on what to do with the deck. Uh, oh, this is what I was looking for. I like this. So this is a checklist for the uh, Sword and Shield uh, cards so I can go through and keep a checklist. I was going to print one out, but now I don't have to. It's been so long since I've opened these, I've forgotten about it. And looks like these are just a cute little... Uh, you know, just quick reference cards. That's nice. I always forget the little extra things. We've got a Sobble coin. That's, I love, I loved these coins growing up. And finally, we have the deck, the Inteleon deck. It's got this nice little box it's in. So let's dig on into this thing. So we've got a whole bunch of water energies to start out. Um, okay, hang on one second. I think I lost my... <laughs> oh no. I lost where the... Uh, the Inteleon card... Oh no, I found it. Never mind. Woo! <laughs> that could have been real bad. Yeah, here's that uh, Inteleon card. The hollow comes with it. Uh, so here's a... Uh, we've got Krabby. I love Krabby. Uh, Hop, trainer card. Drizzle. Professor's Research, Choodle, I love this little turtle, Mantine, a Great Ball, 
Sobble, there's my boy right there. Energy Dreadnought, I love Dreadnought. Shiny Dreadnought is really cool. It's got green skin uh, instead of the blue. Looks like a, an actual Ninja Turtle. Kingler, just a good OG. Switch, Pokemon Catcher, Great Ball Hop. Cramorant, Cramorant's one of those, I didn't realize where it was in the game, so I didn't get one at the time of the game. Uh, so, but it's a really cool one. Uh, Drizzle, Ordinary Rod, I don't know what that is. Shuffle up to two Poke, okay, cool. Choodle. Uh, I am really, I want to get back into the game again, uh, the card game. Poke Kid, Poke Gear 3.0. I need to look at what these trainer cards do later. Um, uh, at one time, I was really into the card game, and I've just not been since then. Uh, so that's in the Inteleon deck, and so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to take that online in a little bit, test it out, stuff like that. All right. Now let's go and let's get into the uh, uh, trainer box. All right, now we're here with the Zacian uh, trainer box. And so we're gonna dive into this. I love this uh, shrink wrap. This is what the booster boxes are normally wrapped in, uh, but they started doing that with the trainer boxes. Uh, I just think that's really cool. Hopefully it's not as hard to get into this box. I don't think, I think I just tore it right there. Yeah, okay. So let's put that down, don't wanna stab myself. I can just see the headline, local math teacher stab self opening Pokemon box. Uh, so here's this box, it slides, oh, whoa. Check that out. That's real cool. That is really cool. See, this is a good little box to uh, keep your stuff in. And uh, I think I just completely bypassed the booklet. Yeah. Oh, and this, you see, you look inside, it folds out. I I'm just not experienced with these trainer boxes. This is so cool. Here's the player's guide just for this whole set. I know it's got some uh, strategy uh, going over the main cards and everything. It's got just a picture list of all of them. It's got, oh, there's the seat. Ooh, those rainbow ones look nice. Uh, so I, I'd love to have the Lapras VMAX uh, Secret Rare. Is that the name of it? I don't know. Ultra Rare? and Or the Snorlax. That would be real cool. Digging into the box, we've got this awesome piece of cardboard. Like, the box would not be complete without this thing at all. And we have our eight booster packs. See, so here's one with uh, Gigantamax Lapras, uh, Zamazenta... Gigantamax Lapras, Zamazenta, uh, Gigantamax Snorlax, another Lapras, I hope that's a sign, another, four of them that stab Lapras on the cover. The cover is not what decides what's in the packs, but just look at that. That looks so nice. Oh, I love that. Three of them with Zamazenta, and then one with the Snorlax. I think I'll open the Snorlax one first. And also inside we have the Zacian, uh, Card sleeves, those are real cool. Uh, gonna, that's my thing for that. Here's a little dividers that are inside it with Zacian on the front. I think I've pronounced Zacian like five different ways. Here's, oh, they do have fairy energy still. So the thing with this pack, uh, or this new uh, expansion of the card game is that they have gotten rid of fairy types. And so, I don't really know what exactly prompted it. Uh, I am not in the meta right now at all with the card game. Uh, but so here's all the all the usual suspects. These look really slick. I like the little, you know, splash design on them. It looks a little like the Miami Heat logo. There's the Miami Heat logo. That's a, not even a funny joke. Don't acknowledge that. All these energies. That way you can make your own deck and get started with that. Here are the new dice. Ooh, check out that clear silver dice and the damage counters. That's really cool. And we have just some status condition coins. And these are these are legit coins. They're made of plastic, obviously, but these are these are pretty cool. Well, now it's time to get into the main thing. All right, so I went ahead and uh, kind of 
uh, barely opened the packs just so I could do this so I'm not s sitting here all day. I wanted to salvage the packs as best I could. Look at that. Like, that's just so cool looking. So now we're going to slide these out. Oh, look at that. How beautiful that is. And you know what? How about we do this? First come, first serve on that card. Let's do that. Now, if you're not familiar with what I'm about to do, it's called the card trick. Uh, what you do is you, for this new set, Sword and Shield, you go one, two, three, four cards, and then you put those in the front. And so your back two cards, this one is you're gonna be your reverse hollow, and this one's gonna be your rare for, this de uh, for the pack. So let's go look, let's look through these. So uh, starting out with the uh, fighting energy, Dotler, I used a, uh, or Beetle in my uh, shield run. I loved that line. I love Dotler. Galarian Stunfisk. I'm going to be for real. I forgot this thing existed. Raboot. Galarian Zigzagoon. Gossifler. Silly Cobra. Yamper. Hey, Krabby. Go nice with ours. Ooh, a reverse hollow of Choodle. And the rare of the deck is Poltygeist. Love this little thing. It's just possessed this teapot. I could get the worst pulls out of this deck or this box and I would be okay with it because I'm just so happy to get some Pokemon cards for the first time in a long time. So one, two, three, four cards, moving those to the back. In our second set, I guess you get an energy card with each pack now, that's cool. Psychic energy, citrus berry. Quillfish, Energy Switch, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Roselia, Phariseed, oh, look at that art. That's like a little clay model. That's real cool. Krabby, Reverse Hollow of Chinchino, or Cinchino, I'm not real sure. Chinchino just makes more sense because it's like a chinchilla. And the rare is Orbeetle. Man, I love Orbeetle. That's a good one. I, I watched a video... Uh, I'll link it in the description of the competitiveness of some of these cards, and some of them are not too good, or Beetle is one of those, but that's all right. One thing I like about the card game is it gives uh, Pokemon that aren't great in the actual games, uh, and so that's just, that's pretty cool. Oh no! Pack number three, and I just completely messed that up, so it's going to be in some random order now, so... I'm not going to try to do the card trick on this. Let's just go through Roselia. Phariseed, another one. Krabby, I'm getting a lot of the same ones. Oh, no. Ooh, Reverse Hollow is Masharna. That's a really pretty. And is that that's a rare Reverse Hollow, so that's cool. Stonejourner is my rare for this pack. That's a cool card. I like that one a whole lot. A Psychic Energy, Bisharp. Salazzle, that's really cool art. That, like... I don't know, I don't know what kind of art style that is. Rhyhorn, Doug Trio, that's funny. And that was the rest of the pack. And <laughs> moving on to the fourth pack. One, two, three, four. Back to the front. A Grass Energy, okay, and this is nice, so it puts the energy at the front each time. Heat More, Metal Saucer, a Quick Ball, Baltoy, Salandit, Galarian Ponyta. I love this thing. If that doesn't make me a man, then I'm okay with that. This thing is adorable. Minchino, Sobble, Reverse Hollow of Mudbray, and the rare for this pack is a Roserade. So no, uh, no Vs, no Vmaxes, no Gmax, no any of these so far. Mm. Not gonna lie, I'm a tiny, tiny bit disappointed, but not really. Uh, so those are the four packs, and now we're on to the four Lapras VMAX, Gigantamax packs. So, four. Our energy, I'm gonna guess that it's electric. No, it's fire. Mm, didn't get that one. All right, Pokegear 3.0, Aurora Energy. Ferrothorn. Oh, I wish they'd given Ferrothorn the 
Pharisee card treatment where it was like a claymation model. Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Mincino, Chinchow, Krogunk, Reverse Hollow of Galarian Rapidash. That one looks really cool. And Lapras, just plain old Lapras, is our rare for the pack. I've gotten two Reverse Hollow rares so far, so that is pretty cool. Pretty neat. All right, next pack. One, two, three, four. Water Energy, gonna start us out. Drizzle, Galarian Stunfisk, Pokemon Center Lady, Goldeen, Yamper, I love Yamper, that thing's so cute. Scoruppy, Clobopus, Wooloo, Reverse Hollow of Ball Toy, and, oh, a rare hollow supporter of Professor Magnolia, Professor's Research. So that's pretty cool. I always like the hollow trainer cards. We've got two more packs to go into. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's say Grass Energy. Ah, uh, no, Dark Energy. Oh, well. Thwacky, Palpad, Citrus Berry, Sizzlipede, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Rhyhorn, Reverse Hollow of Galarian Meowth. That's a really nice one. That's a an uncommon or common. I think it's common. And our card that is, oh, this is nice. A rare Hollow Galarian Obstagoon. That looks very nice. The hollow looks really cool on the uh, on my iPhone, on the camera. So no VMAXs, no Vs, no anything. But it's still been a really nice pack. We've got one more to go through. And then we're going to call it a day. One, two, three, four. To the front. Lightning energy. Nope. Fire again. Got a bunch of fire energies today. Rotom bike. Drizzle, Bisharp, Rhyhorn, Minchino, Chinchow, Krogunk, Galarian Meowth, a Reverse Hollow of Lantern, and I can see the card edge. My last card is a Sableye V. That looks really cool. I don't know if these are always holographic or not. If they are, then, you know, it's not nearly as rare. But look at that. That looks Really cool. I don't remember if this one is worth anything in the game or not, but that's still really cool. Ozzy, Susie, what do y'all think? Do y'all enjoy those Pokemon cards? Yeah. Want a good scratch? Yeah. Oh, Susie's jealous now. So, oh my goodness, I am being, I, I've been attacked. The dogs are on, oh my goodness. Susie, stop. Oh. Pups, y'all want me to get more Pokemon cards later? I think I will. I think that's been good. And hey, Susie, I think this is gonna be a good end to the vlog. Hey, Susie, sit. Oh, you're such a good girl. Yes, you're such a good girl. Oh, yeah. I think this will be a good end to the video. Uh, so I'm working on that Score Bunny video and basically just gonna enjoy this day off. So until next time, I will see y'all later.